Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. Time to review on Track Damage Cruz Ramirez. A new release for the 2021 mainline series for the Disney Cars. Um, I've seen metal, like I said, my uh, Hot Rod River Scott video. I don't know why they put that there. Um, again, I like the car. I really like the uh, background that they chose for this year. Like I said, it's kind of like a mix between the Blue Desert and the like 2019-2018 card art. Another good thing, obviously, you can see that for the variations, it actually looks like they're changing the card art to match what the variation is. You can see how here, Cruz Ramirez is actually, you know, damaged on the card art like she is in the, uh, like she is in the, on the die cast. Um, so that's pretty nice. On the back of the package, you have some other cars. Uh, all of these are actually from Cars 3, so that's kind of interesting because... Uh, from, for Hot Rod or Scott, they didn't put all the uh, cars. Uh, did all all the car, not all the cars on the back of the package were from Cars Three. I uh, got Smokey Jackson Storm, uh, John Belaya, the Chimchenga, the uh, Bumper Safe Tractor, HJ Hollis Pushover, uh, Hot Rod Junior Moon, and Sheldon Shifter. None of these are new, but still, some you know I I guess some nice re-releases. Although I think I think these guys were re-released not long ago. She was, uh, uh, John Bly was released last year, same with Bumper Safe Tractor, same with Hot Rod River Scott, and these two are, I don't know, kind of, like, well, actually, actually, Smokey hasn't had that many releases, oh, but yeah, 2020 Mattel, they're on the back of the package, so let's get, uh, Track Damage Cruiser Mirrors out of the package, definitely a nice, a nice release, but it's uh, kind of interesting that, that, that Mattel released this one before they released the Jackson Storm Cruiser Mirrors. So here she is out of the package. Uh, yeah, very, very nice. Actually nice. It's not only uh, damaged on one side. You couldn't even see this side in the package, obviously, or on the corridor, but it is damaged on this side as well. So uh, starting off with the expression, uh, it does look a little different from the China one, actually. So has the China version. This is a Thailand version. So it does look different than the, uh, than the uh, China version. So that's kind of nice. Although, technically, he or she, she should be a little bit more, like, you know, not smiling, not all happy. Got some detail there on the front. Uh, some, like, dirt. Uh, her wheels are looking to be okay, but she's got, like, some tire marks right there. And it actually is textured, which is very nice. Uh, so, these tire marks would be from, like, when Jackson Storm bumped into her like that. So, you got the big 95 on the side with the Rusties. Um, cruise. Uh, yeah, I, I like, I like this, uh, obviously, Rusty's Cruise Mirrors, I really like her, probably my favorite cr cruise variation. Um, and nothing on the back here, I like how the 95 kind of goes along to the back here, or the 5 from the 95, I should say, more dirt towards the back right there. So you've got the 95 right there, some more detail right there, the taillights, uh, CRS. Got the spoiler that has nothing on it. Uh, and as we go to the side, obviously, this is where the most damage occurs. You've got, like, a big, like, scrape uh, right here on the side from when she was obviously pushed into the wall um, by Jackson Storm. You can see kind of, you know, rubbed off that part from the 95 right there. Just a big scrape along the side that obviously took off a bunch of paint. Um, and it actually is texture, which is very nice. There's some texture going in there right through right there. Uh, Rusty's 95, obviously, but they can kind of, you know, the 95 is obviously all messed up. The cruise, the Z and cruise is messed up there. Um, obviously, he goes behind the wheel well. And just in front of the wheel well right there, you can see some more damage and some dirt in the front. Now, the only thing I have to say about this is that... If you look at the card art, you can see how, like, the tires are kind of, like, the light year on the tires is rubbed off, which makes sense, right? Because if she's crashed into the wall, the text on the tire would also rub off. Um, but here, the tire looks fine, uh, which, you know, doesn't really make sense because it's not like the tire didn't hit the wall. It also hit the wall. Um, but, uh, yeah, so obviously the tire should be a little, you know, damaged or whatever, like, you know, a little, you know, 
the light year shouldn't be visible. Not all the light years should be visible, obviously, but uh, whatever. At least this part looks okay, I guess. Like, obviously, okay, it doesn't look okay, but it looks good for what it's supposed to represent. So it doesn't, you know, damage. It isn't, it isn't supposed to look good. Like, I'll, I'll put it that way. The side isn't supposed to look good. Um, but yeah, there's the base M34, right? I think that's actually earlier than the uh, Hot Rod River Scott uh, was made. But yeah, definitely a very nice release. And the first damaged car I believe we've gotten since like 2012. So, um, sure, it's not like, like damage damage. Like, it's not like the Lightning McQueen, wrecked Lightning McQueen version or whatever. Or like a wrecked Lightning McQueen, but sure. But it is a uh, track damaged uh, it is a damaged car so you know it's still nice to get a damaged car nonetheless um now the only thing i kind of have to complain about the thailand cruise is that the wheels like if you look at it this way the wheels are kind of inside the wheel well like you can see there's space between the wheel and the wheel well there the china version really didn't have that like you can see like the wheels are right along the wheel well so when you look at it you can see the wheels here when you kind of look at it you can see that part, but other than that, you really can't see the wheels. It looks a little weird. It was it was worse on a... This one's actually decent. Uh, the Cruise and the Easy Idle... Or not the Easy Idle. Bl Bumper Sick Tractor 2-Pack. Yeah, I did a review on that one. That uh, was really bad with the wheels, like, really inside. But this one this one looks okay, I guess. Uh, but here she is compared to the regular Cruise Ramirez. I've seen from China. Uh, this one is... Like I said, the expression is different. So you can see the damage on the side right there. Also, actually, I didn't notice this, but you can see that this cruise doesn't have any yellow striping. Uh, this one does have some yellow uh, striping right there. So that's pretty nice. That's a nice detail added by Thailand. There's the back. Then once we go to the side, obviously, you can see there's a big difference there on the sides. The big damage there. So yeah, definitely. I do. I do like the track damage cruiser mirrors. It's a nice release. I'm do. I am glad Mattel released it. Some variations. I don't know why they released, but this one is a uh, good variation. I like that they released it, and I'm hoping we get the uh, Jackson Storm uh, cruiser mirrors soon as well. So let's give cruiser mirrors a ride on the turntable here. Um, so yeah, uh, that should do it for my review on Track Damage Cruise Ramirez. Uh, probably a little shorter than some of my other reviews, but uh, it's still around 8 minutes. So, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.